Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jake Garcia. We are dedicated to providing you with the important information and resources you need to know. It's what drives our rebound coverage. Imagine calling your doctor to make an appointment only to be told they aren't able to give you one. A new study from Idaho State University found that's two times more likely to happen to deaf and hard of hearing people. Rebound reporter Natasha Williams sat down with the researchers behind the study. Those in the deaf and hard of hearing community say it's a problem they've known about for a long time, but now they have the data to prove it. We've heard some horrific stories about what people have experienced in this realm. Dr. Elizabeth Schneidewind is a clinical associate professor for the interpreting program at Idaho State University. Her research stems from a problem the deaf community has experienced for decades. Anecdotally, we have that data, but there has not been a measurement of how often people are denied these appointments or when exactly that happens or at which place it's more common for them to be denied an appointment. Researchers looked at appointment data from several primary care physicians across Idaho. Within that, we had a group of patients, simulated patients who could hear, and a group of simulated patients who were deaf. And we had them call the same list of doctors and dentists. When they compared the data, what they found was shocking. Deaf and hard of hearing folks being about two times more likely to be denied an appointment. Researchers found much of that denial comes from not having an interpreter available. According to federal law, healthcare providers must provide an interpreter and make accommodations for deaf and hard of hearing patients. Medical care is a right for all individuals, including deaf individuals. They have a right to have access to their own health care and have access to their own information. It is their lives. Stephen Snow is the director of the Idaho Council for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. He believes the issue is also a lack of awareness. It's ignorance. Typically when we encounter this in my work, we'll reach out to the facility and explain that they need to provide an interpreter and we explain how. And they often respond that they weren't aware that that was how they needed to do that. Even with new research, there's still a lot of work to do. There is so much more under the surface and there are many layers to this issue. There's still breakdowns and there's still a lot of education and, and training across the clinic staff from, from providers all the way to, you know, the medical assistant or whoever's making that appointment. They, they all need to have that understanding. This issue has become especially prevalent during the COVID-19 pandemic. There are about 200,000 deaf and hard of hearing individuals in Idaho, but you have to keep in mind, this study is indicative of those in the community who actually fight for health care appointments. The researchers I talked to say a big chunk of the community is getting so fed up of getting denied that they don't even try anymore. To read the full study, head to our website, idahonews6.com. Natasha Williams, Idaho News 6.